guys, this is Lars for Pixel Tech today. I want you guys a cool car dance effect, which uh, Lars is pretty nice. And uh, all right, so we're gonna open up After Effects, and we're gonna import our file. And let's go to the desktop here. And and we're gonna load this image up. Joker, only your only you in the face, and load it into a new comp. Here we are. All right, so let's get us up here. All right. So what you guys are seeing being done here, well, well look at that. Alright, um, just a basic photo, nothing again, uh, it, was a, it was just a drawing that I found. So whoever the owner is, good job on that. So alright, so I loaded it up here, and now we're in our timeline. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to search up for card, the dance, and then we're going to, where is it? Card, dance, put it over there. Alright, so here we are. Now, a few things to understand. The back layer is going to be the, the image that you that you loaded on. And, and also the gradient layer. Now, the gradient layer is what chooses the darkness. Because basically, the, the card dance effect works due to the black and white values in your in your footage. So, in this case, it's a picture. And um, you guys can see it's a white back key. It rather you can to this. More saturation and black values, around, especially around the eyes eyes kind of makes the joker and the smile of course all right so we're gonna make the gradient layer the joker face now our main thing we're doing that's why we call it a 3d paper uh, effect is that we want it to come into z position the x position would be this way across the left and right uh, plane then the y position would be up and down and then z would be coming towards us and further away so we're gonna open up z position now this multiplier will uh, take effect uh, with these this row right here so alright but our first source has to be intensity 1 alright so you guys can see that we're getting a huge variation of multiplier which also looks awesome right now obviously but uh, we're gonna multiply the rows we're gonna make this a hundred and let's make this one hundred so now if we multiply it, you guys can see we got a huge break and you guys can see how After Effects took the values and they kind of pushed them out so you guys can zoom here and see that the white values are popping forward and the dark values are popping back. So keep on going and you guys are going to obviously eventually reach through all this snippets of the whole thing and we're back in 3D space and it's an amazing effect generated after effects and I uh, used to do some amazingly cool stuff with it and uh, I have a new tutorial planned for you guys and uh, hopefully I'll release it so that's how you do that so what we can do here is set the back to zero and let's keyframe it so let's select the keyframe options and I set this to zero and I'll, let's go at the end of the of the whole comp let's actually make it about five seconds and uh, trim comp to work area Alright, so this is about five seconds. Let's go all the way down back here, and then let's multiply this all the way down. So let's get some good value. Like that should be good. So I'm gonna say about 90. Let's start, make the offset about 80. Alright, you guys can also find around with the uh, uh, X position. And do some of that too. Change it around. Obviously, you're not gonna get that same effect. So, you guys can always uh, make the offset and keyframe the position of this, of the breaking up, so we can make it turn, which is also an awesome effect. So, so you guys do it. 3D card effect. And uh, yep, you guys can check out the final product on the channel. This is Slar from Pixels. Peace out, guys.